Hey everybody, it's another week of Boomin' and Zoomin' coming at ya. Today, we are going to do a little warm-up that'll take about five minutes, then we're gonna do some chair stretching, and then we're gonna stand up, and I'm gonna demo some cone drills that you can do at home. Now, obviously here we're using cones because we have them. A cone looks like this, but I also want you to be creative and think about something you could use at home since not everyone has a cone. So I found these little three by five cards. They're colored. So maybe you have those. You could get some colored duct tape and put little duct tape on the floor. Something that you could use on the floor that would help you uh, sort of mimic these little drills that we're gonna do. But I at least wanna show you these drills. These are options that you can do at home and they're really good balance exercises and drills to, again, help improve your balance and stability. Okay, so as usual, it'll be 30 minutes, and grab your chair, and we are going to get started. Hannah will help us out again today, okay? All right, so the first exercise that we're gonna do to get warmed up is just some marching in place. So we're just gonna march in place, for one minute, again, only as high as your knees will let you. If you can get really high, great. If this is as high as you can get, that's okay. If you just even want to barely lift the balls of your feet off the floor, that's okay too. Um, but we want to get those hips, those legs warmed up, okay? And I like to alternate my arms when I'm doing this, kind of like a little jogging arms. So some jogging arms with my marching. Probably one of the best exercises that helps get your body warmed up is a marching exercise. We can do that anywhere. You're sitting watching TV, or you've been quilting, or you've been sitting at your computer. Get up and just march your place for a minute. It's a great exercise. Besides, anytime you do these types of exercises, it'll wake you up. You know, that's another thing that happens when we've been sitting in front of our computer or TV for a while, we get tired, fatigued. You know, you're at work all day and you get tired in the middle of the afternoon. Get up and start doing some exercise. It'll wake you right up. Instead of going and getting that coffee, march in place. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is a little punching circuit. So. We're going to add this in. This is a little different. We've not, I think we've only punched. We haven't done anything else. So we're going to punch now. So we're just going to have a little bend in our knees and we're going to punch our arms side to side with a little twist in our torso. So we're punching, punch, punch. You can even do a jab and a cross, a jab and a cross. You always jab with your non-dominant arm and you cross with your dominant arm. This is for Mary Dean. If she is um, at rock steady, she's jab and across, jab and across, jab, crosses, jab, crosses, jab, crosses. This is for, you know, when we get attacked too. We might be, boom, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. I hope I never get attacked. <laughs> okay. Let's do this for about 10 more seconds and then I'm going to show you some uppercuts that are fun to do for your biceps and again just to get your arms warmed up. So we're going to uppercut and then we're going to uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Think about punching up underneath the chin. So we're uppercut, 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 uppercut. Good job. Thanks. So three fours. If you do a rock steady camp class, it's three fours. Go another five seconds with some uppercuts, and then I'm going to show you some hooks. All right. So now we're going to hook and hook, hook. This is like getting the rib cage. You want to get the rib cage. You're just looking at hoo 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 rib cage. <laughs> so we're twisting too. If you think 
about, and you know, anytime you're ever doing this, you want to get a good base of support. You know, you want to have a nice bend in your knee, get a good base of support, one foot in front of the other, so you don't get knocked off your balance. So I'm so aggressive. So now that you've kind of learned these hooks, I want to just show you something. You're going to go jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Okay? Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Jab, cross, this. uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Come on. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, and a hook. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, and a hook. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, hook. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, and a hook. One more. Jab, cross, uppercut, uppercut, hook, and a hook. Good job. My heart rate's up. Your heart rate up? Yep. My heart rate's up. All right. Now, we're going to do one more thing for a warm-up, and that's our little hip circuit, okay? But I'm going to do it a little differently. It's not going to necessarily be a lifting up the leg. We're just going to step forward and side, back, and then back, side, forwards. I guess we can do it like that, so it'll be more like an around-the-world hip circuit. All right, so we'll step, step, step. Switch legs, step, step, step. Switch legs, step, 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 step. Switch legs, step, 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 step. I know. It seems like I should do it that way. No, it's step. Not. I got it. Step, step. This was a brain teaser, too. Step, and step, and step, and step, and step, and step. Switch legs. Step, 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 step. Let's do one more around the world. Switch and pull that left ear to that left shoulder. Let's extend our hands. Let's make a fist. Extend our fingers. 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 Fist. Fingers. Fist. And fingers. Good. Let's do some wrist circles. switch.
shake those swing. Good, let's extend our right hand palm down. Take your left hand and pull that palm down. Keep your elbow straight. Palm up and pull down. And switch palm down first, elbow straight. Palm up and pull down. Good, let's bring our right arm into our chest and stretch the back of our shoulder. Bring that elbow up, reach behind your head and pull down on the elbow. Yeah. <laughs> Switch sides. Bring that arm into your chest first. Bring that elbow up. Reach behind your back. Pull down on the elbow. chair and grab the back of your chair. Puff your chest out, lift your head, stretch the front of your shoulders and your chest. I always tell them in the class that it reminds me of the Titanic when she was near and far. Oh, I won't see. Good, let's grab the side of our chair and then reach around, twist that torso. Help you feel your back crack a little bit. Switch sides. Sitting up straight, chest up nice and tall. We're gonna reach just across our body, stretching the side. So really reach. You can hold on to the side of the chair with your left hand. And let's switch sides. Let's reach up to the ceiling and down to our toes. Arch that back under your chair. up to the ceiling and down to your toes under the chair. Okay, let's reach our right foot out. One hand on top of the other. We're going to reach down, stretch our hamstring. Come up. We'll do that one more time. Same thing on the other leg. Reach down for those toes. Come back. We'll do it again. Good. Let's go right foot over left knee and press down on the inside of your right knee. Circles. I hope you can see our leg. 
just realized. <laughs> I wonder, can you see our legs? If you cannot see our legs, we apologize, but we are doing the lip ankle circles and we're switching directions. <laughs> That's okay, I think you've done this enough with me, you probably know what I'm doing. All right, let's stand up and do some of our standing up stretches. So we'll start with the hip flexor. Knees on the uh, front of, I'll do that, how's that? And then we're just gonna keep that knee on the chair, our other leg bends forward, hold that position, stretch the hip flexor, front of that hip. Oh. And let's have more of a split stance, a little wider than that. One leg's forward, one leg's back. Heel is on the ground. We're going to stretch our calf muscle. And then we're going to do this on the other side. stretched out we're going to do our cone drill so I want you to get, take a break get a drink of water and go and get something that you can set down for stepping over or stepping around or using to um, touch when we do our little square drill okay hey everybody um, now that you're back from your water break I'm going to teach you some drills that you can do at home that are for balance I'm using a cone, but you could also use these little 3 by 5 cards, or you could take some tape and put it on the ground, and maybe in your kitchen, that's so easy to get off the floor. Um, I've set up a square, okay, that's probably about 3 feet apart. Hannah's going to start in the middle of the square. And all I'm going to say, I'm going to use numbers for these squares. So this is number 1, this is number 2, that's number 3. And this is number four. So Hannah, I would like you to, to step towards number one, and she's going to reach down and touch the cone and come back to the start. Hannah, touch number three. Come back to the start. Hannah, touch number four. Good. Come back to center and touch number two. <laughs> two. Good. Okay, so see, even... A young, lovely lady like Hannah can find that it can be difficult when you're doing this. So I want you to make sure that you have someone else in the room or if you don't um, have a chair or something that you can grab onto in case you lose your balance. But what we're trying to do is improve your balance and stability here. So Hannah, touch number two. Good, Hannah, touch number four. And number one. And number three. So, you can also have color coordinated 3x5 um, cards too, and you could say touch white, or touch blue, or touch red. This might be a fun little game your grandchildren can make you little squares that you can use for this drill. And always remember, if you're using something on the floor, that you do not use something you could trip over. Alright, we don't want anybody to fall, but we want you to practice bending down and touching something and being able to get back up without falling. So again, Hannah, touch number four. Hannah, touch number one. Hannah, touch number three. <laughs> and number two. Also look and see that each time she touches one and two, 
she steps with her right. And anytime she touches three and four, she steps with her left. Okay? So that's a great tip drill that you can practice at home for balance. Second drill that we're going to do is called the mirror drill. Okay? And we're going to take a cone, and I'll just put these two next to each other. Can you... Is this good? Okay. Um, Again, whatever squares you want to use, you want these squares to be even with each other. Now, Hannah, this is called the mirror drill. So Hannah and I are going to be standing in front of each other, okay? And we're going to be stepping laterally, so side to side. So I am going to be the leader, and she's going to be, I guess, the follower. She's going to mirror me, all right? So if Whatever direction I go, she's going to try to do exactly the same thing I do, okay? So,
Good job. The second thing we're going to do is a step over. We need to practice being able to step over objects and be confident when we're doing that. So we're going to step with our right, and then I want you to alternate and step with your left. Step with your right, step with your left, and it's okay to look down at the ground. All right. And again, step, and step over, and step over, and step over, step over, and step over. Okay? Now, we're going to do side steps over these cones, all right? So we're going to step, and then bring that other foot inside of the cone. Step, bring the other foot inside of the cone. Step, bring it in. Step, bring it in. Step, bring it in, step, bring it in. When you do those step overs, I want to make sure that your feet are pointed in front of you, all right? I don't want one foot pointed out, all right, as you're stepping over the cone. So if you need to shorten the distance between your cones, that's okay. All right, now we're going to lead with the other foot on the way back. So we're going to step, bring that other foot in, step, bring that other foot in, step, bring that other foot in, step, in, step in, step in. Okay? Very good. All right, now we're going to step only on the balls of our feet. All right? So now we're going to change it up and step only with the balls of our feet. Like we're tiptoeing to get cookies. Like we're tiptoeing. What? Tiptoeing to get cookies. There was a we said this at um, the water aerobics classes. We called it tiptoe through the tulips. So we're tiptoeing through the tulips because it's springtime. Why don't you sing it, Tiny Tim? No. <laughs> Stepping on the balls of our feet. All right, now, this is where it gets really tricky. We're going to do the heels. So we're step, step, Ooh. step, 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 step. We did this in our workout. And going back, step, 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 and step. That was good. Okay, one more exercise, and it's just double stepping, double stepping. Okay, so we're gonna go step, 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 step. Okay? And again, you can go as slow or as fast as you feel comfortable. Step, 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 step. Okay, so these are three different cone drills that you guys can do at home. Always remember that you can use whatever objects you have at home, but you want to make sure that they are not going to cause you to fall. All right, but we want you to practice your stability. And also, it got my heart rate up a little bit. Did it get your heart rate up a little? A little bit. A little heart rate increase, too, which is always good. So hopefully you've had a really good workout today. We appreciate you guys constantly supporting us and helping us through this time. We hope you guys will stay active at home. Have a wonderful day.